forest. We can't go in there. Students aren't allowed. And there are... Werewolves. Oh, there's more than werewolves in those trees, lad. You can be sure of that. Throughout the Harry Potter series, we entered the Forbidden Forest in almost every book, and a big reason why the characters journeyed through it so many times is because it's J.K. Rowling's favorite part of the Hogwarts grounds. It houses a vast number of creatures and is a key point in almost every book's plot. In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the Forbidden Forest. Now before we start, I'd like to take a moment to announce that I just launched a Patreon page. It would mean a lot if you guys could donate and help grow and improve the channel. There are all kinds of rewards you can get by donating, including some big shoutouts on social media and at the end of every video, as well as behind the scenes looks and previews before the video launches. So please check it out, it would be helping move the Movie Flame brand forward, and would really help me grow as a creator. I'll put a link to it in the description. Thanks so much guys, now let's get to the video. The forest is one of the larger parts of the Hogwarts grounds. It's thick with trees as well as undergrowths. There are some paths and some clearings when you first walk through the forest, but once you get deep enough, those paths disappear. When you leave the path, it's almost impassable and gets extremely dark because the trees become thicker and thicker, covering any light that could come in. There are many tree roots and stumps, as well as low-slung branches, making it very hard to navigate. Over the years, a few Hogwarts students have disappeared inside the forest, never to be found again. It's traditionally the duty of the Keeper of Keys and Grounds of Hogwarts, or the Gamekeeper, to attend to matters in the forest as part of their job. Rubius Hagrid, the Gamekeeper during the series, lived in a hut on the edge of the forest, and he dealt with many problems that had to do with the dark woods. The forest contains many different kinds of creatures. They have non-magical creatures like foxes, deer, and wolves. There are also some smaller magical creatures such as bow truckles. There are also blood-sucking bugbears and werewolves, not to be confused with the non-magical wolves. There are hippogriffs, which we saw a number of during Hagrid's lesson, but during that lesson, Buckbeak had the most focus. There are also unicorns, which we saw twice in the series. Once in the Philosopher's Stone, when Quirrell was drinking the dead unicorn's blood to keep his master, Lord Voldemort, alive. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. You have slain something so pure that from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life, a cursed life. And we saw them another time when Professor Grubbly Plank took over a Care of Magical Creatures lesson for Hagrid and taught the class about the majestic creatures. Here we learned that the creatures favor girls over guys. There are also Thestrals, which are black, skeletal, bat-winged horses. They can only be seen by those who have witnessed and processed death. Acromantulas also live in the forest. They're monstrous, eight-eyed spiders that are capable of human speech. It's also rumored that the forest houses trolls, specifically forest trolls, which have green skin and green hair. There were a few creatures that weren't originally in the forest, but were added during the events of the series. One of those creatures is blast Ended Scroots. They were raised by Hagrid's Care of Magical Creatures class, and a few of them were used in the third task of the Triwizard Tournament as part of the obstacles in the maze. After that, Hagrid released them into the forest. Hagrid added a giant to the mix as well when he brought his half-brother Grop home from the mountains because he was being bullied by the other giants. Grobby, that is not polite! Could do something! We about this. You do not grab, do you? And of course, we can't forget about the Ford Anglia. Technically, it's not a creature, but it displayed many beastly behaviors after running wild in the Forbidden Forest for months. When Ron and Harry discovered it again, it was smeared with mud, covered in tree branches, and had gone a bit feral. Harry! Harry, it's our car! And look, the forest has turned it wild! Arguably, the Acromantula might have been added to the forest as well, once again because of Hagrid. He helped Aragog escape into the forest after they thought that he was the monster that was in the Chamber of Secrets. He then brought Aragog a female Acromantula named Mosag. She became his wife, and they had hundreds of children. It's certainly true that the spiders that Ron and Harry saw in the forest were there because of Hagrid, but it's very possible that there were already Acromantula in the forest at that point. Fifty years after Aragog was saved by Hagrid, Aragog indirectly saved Hagrid from life in prison. He helped Harry and Ron put together that Hagrid wasn't the culprit who had opened the chamber, and that the girl that had died when it was opened was Moaning Myrtle. 
He of course was about to let his children eat Ron and Harry, but because they escaped, this information helped them close the mystery. Aragog died four years later, and Hagrid had a funeral for him on the edge of the forest. Seriously misunderstood creatures spiders are. It's the eyes, I reckon, they unnerve some folk. Not to mention the pincers. And we can't forget about the creatures that were touched upon the most, centaurs. They live in colonies and are stargazers that can predict the future by looking up at the night sky. Centaurs hated humans, most likely because of the way that they were treated by wizards and witches. A centaur named Firenze, who lived in the forest, didn't follow the centaur's belief of not intervening in human affairs. In the Philosopher's Stone, he saved Harry from Voldemort, which made the others in his colony very angry, thinking that he messed with the destiny of the stars. And during the events of the Order of the Phoenix, he was banished and attacked for accepting a job to teach divination at Hogwarts as a favor to Albus Dumbledore. Hagrid had to intervene when the other centaurs went after Firenze, and Hagrid just might have saved his life. Later that year, the centaurs were approached by Dolores Umbridge, who insulted and attacked them. Filthy half-breed! After this, they went after her and dragged her away. They were once again about to kill, but were stopped, this time by Dumbledore. Some other major events that took place in the Forbidden Forest throughout the series include Harry spying on Snape and Quirrell. He did this by flying overhead on the edge of the forest. There was also Harry, Hermione, Neville, and Malfoy getting detention, and as their punishment, they had to go into the forest with Hagrid. We also saw Hagrid give his hippogriff lesson and saw Malfoy get attacked by Buckbeak. Oh, that's killed me! It's killed me! Later on, Harry and Hermione rescued Buckbeak by bringing him into the forest. The forest is also where Remus Lupin ran when he was transformed into a werewolf. A year later, Barty Crouch Jr. dragged and killed his father, Barty Crouch, in the forest, and then transfigured his body into a bone and buried it. Hagrid gave another one of his lessons here, this time on Thestrals. A few months later, Harry went to that same spot that Hagrid taught his lesson, to lure six Thestrals with blood, so that he and the others could ride them to London and save Sirius at the Ministry of Magic. During his seventh year, Neville was yet again sent to detention in the Forbidden Forest with Hagrid, this time accompanied by Luna and Ginny, after they tried stealing the Sword of Gryffindor from Snape's office. During the Battle of Hogwarts, Voldemort and his Death Eaters went into the forest. He then called a ceasefire and told Harry that he had one hour to join him. Join me in the Forbidden Forest and confront your fate. Harry did as Voldemort said and went into the forest. He first used the Resurrection Stone to see his fallen loved ones. You've been so brave, sweetheart. He then dropped the stone on the forest ground and went to face Voldemort. Voldemort tried to kill him, but all that he ended up doing was destroying the Horcrux inside of Harry. During the battle, many of the creatures from the forest participated in the fight, such as Acromantula, Grop, Hagrid's half-brother, and later the centaurs, but only after Hagrid yelled at them for not helping in the first place. When the centaurs left the forest to help finish the fight, their stampede stomped on the resurrection stone, making it buried in the forest ground, lost forever. The Forbidden Forest was home to some of the most important and game-changing scenes in the entire series, and will always be one of the most memorable locations in all of the books. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You can follow me on social media. Links for that will be in the description. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my patrons listed below. If you want to be listed on my next video, plus a bunch of other rewards, check out my Patreon, which is linked down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you press that subscribe button to help grow the channel. Again, thank you so much for watching, and look out for more great videos on the way.